Uh, go talk to Hugh. What up, girl? Awesome. You should give me a creativity bonus. Nope. But my morale went up, so it's all worth it. How much do I need? Two ninety nine. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry, I can do it. That was easy. That was easy. Can I still work overtime? No. Fine. I'm gonna go write a poem. This must be an no! My poetry's so bad. Look, they say the secret to poetry is just to write a poem a day, you know? Just write a poem a day. Hey, Hugh, what up? Who's awesome? I'm awesome. Who's awesome? I'm awesome. Mm. Beep, beep. Who's awesome? I'm awesome. We, we, we need. Yes! I feel like I've memorized all of this music at this point. All right, let's go to bed. And then, um, okay, this is the day that he's not working, which means that there's a possibility for cutscenes in other places. Actually, there was one at the mall the first time. The one where we're looking for a get well card, right? And then there was one in the park. Let's go to the park first. No, okay. Let's go to the mall. No, okay. Maybe there's, no there's nothing yet. <laughs> Maybe there's nothing yet, but we checked, and that's awesome. what matters. <gasps> Yay! I wrote some stuff. I got a lot really, I got really cultured. Awesome. Boo! Yeah, creativity. No booze to creativity. Now let's go home and write us a poem. Bring it on. <sighs> At least my morale's doing good. I'm gonna talk to my friends. I work too hard. I'm a straight up working girl. Sometimes you just gotta chit chat with Vicky and Sue, you know? Alright, back to the grind. No. No! Are you kidding me twice in a row? What's wrong with me? No, my morale. I mean, I got some dollars, but. Oh, that's so sad. Hey, Hugh, what up? I'm gonna, uh, do yeah. overtime. Yay! See, look at what a difference that makes. Whoop <gasps> bam And then we can do a little writing. And then we can go home. God, I keep not sleeping very well. It's because I'm working too hard. No! Why? I just want a netbook. <laughs> Why is it so hard? I just want a netbook. At least, at least you'll talk to me, Hugh. Who's awesome? I'm awesome. Uh, it's it's a bit too much, but should I get the the dress first, so that I get to walk around in my elegant dress all the time? Yeah, I got my hot dress. So now I'll constantly show up in this instead. All right. It's just so cute. Uh, no. Yeah. Oh, phew. God, I was failing at everything except buying stuff. <laughs> That's not good. That's how bad habits get formed. I'm awesome. I just don't, I just don't feel productive or successful unless I'm, unless I'm shopping. Yeah. No, stop, Amarantha. Oh. It's not the way. It's not the way life should be. What up, you? Yeah. God, your voice is just so obnoxious, but you're handsome enough. Should I do overtime again? How's my morale looking? Uh, I feel like I should. Awesome. I feel like I should uh awesome. do some not working things. Writing is working, but you know it's hobby working. My morale goes up. No! Oh my god, why do I keep failing? This has never happened before, right? We haven't had like three days in a row where we just fail constantly at doing well at our job. <laughs> what the heck? That's, 
That sucks. Oh god, at least I have this hot dress to walk around in. Yeah! Okay. Let's go to the map. Let's write that a little. Was easy. That was easy. Good. Got some creativity. Now I can do some overtime. Awesome. I'm awesome. I'm awesome. And I can go home and write a poem. Ah, yeah. oh, there we go. What a successful day aside from this morning when I was working. That was easy. Uh, okay, gotta go to work. Man, it's Friday already. I'm blowing through these weeks. Talk to Hugh. His lips are very shiny. I don't know if you noticed it, but next time we talk to Hugh, pay very close attention to how overly shiny his lips are. Awesome. Maybe everyone's had shiny lips and I just haven't really paid attention. But look, awesome. trust me, awesome. the lips are real shiny. Awesome. I'm awesome. Yay, I slept well. Oh, but now it's the weekend. I was gonna say maybe I'll do good at my job. Oh. I don't have to, I don't have to, I don't have to go to my job. Hugh! How's it going, Pepe? Pepe, how's it going? He's sketching, he's being all creative and whatever. Can I do, yeah, I can. Woohoo! 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 Oh my god, my energy's so low. <laughs> Like, it's fine. Yes. Yay! It's about love and friendship, but I didn't get any romance points. That was easy. Ruby, stop barking. We're trying to fall in love. About the park. Nope. Those are the only two places that I remember cutscenes happening for him. Not at the gym. I don't think one took place at the library. I don't think. Yay! Yeah! Awesome! Culture is higher than crazy! Ah! How does this keep happening? Ugh, it's fine. Bring it on! I'm gonna do overtime again. I got nine and nine dollar. And then we'll watch some TV to make up for it. Because we worked hard. We worked all weekend. People need to take notice. Yeah. yeah! 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 Look at his lips! So shine! Yes! Hey, baby. He always likes to joke. A bit too much, I'd say. Mm hmm. Uh. Oh my god, stop giving me culture. I don't want it. I don't want to be cultured. I just want to be creative. <laughs> Yay! There we go. That was easy. Perfect. That was easy. Oh my god, finally. Oh, we're finally being successful at our job. Oh my god. It's such a long road of being the worst. I feel like we haven't really, aside from him buying us pizza, we haven't really interacted with you much. That's sad. I guess we've only been playing for like a half hour though. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want. With that creativity, y'all. I write a poem. No, no. I thought it was nice, but then I realized it wasn't. Normally, you have to go to bed to realize that. You guys ever done that? When you like, you draw something or you write something and you're like, this is the most incredible thing I've ever done. And then in the morning you wake up and you look again and you're like, whoa, that's real bad. Story of my life. Story of my life of drawing. <laughs> draw things all the time and I'm like, this is so good. Wow, I didn't realize how talented I am. <laughs> and then in the morning, it's just bad. It's the worst. Got some creativity from talking to him. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yay! No! 
feel like so far this isn't as much about wooing Hugh as it is about having creativity beat culture. <laughs> and it is not going well so far. All right, it's Thursday, y'all. Let's get through this. Got some dollars. I'm gonna talk to Hugh. We're almost to 50 with Hugh already. Guys. Blastin'. Max Blastin'. Uh. No! <laughs> Stop! I'm gonna overtime it again. Oh man, overtime takes so much of your energy. <sighs> Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Phew. Oh, that didn't give me what I wanted, though. Look at this! What's up with this? Bring it on. Hugh, we need to get into the thick of your story. Because I'm losing focus. I'm losing focus on what's important. Your love. Your flowing blue locks. No! This is why! Because you don't really love me. I wonder what the I wonder what the success ratio is for talking to all of these different dudes. Like how it was set up, how often you get failures versus successes. Because obviously you succeed more often than you fail. But I don't know, I'm just really curious to know how they set that up. Because they're just a I don't know. Like an 8 out of 10 chance that you'll succeed. But there's, you know, just the possibility that you might fail over and over and over again because statistics are the worst. I don't know, guys. Now it's the weekend. What are we going to do? Talk to Hugh and get to Fitty! Woo! Alright. Awesome! Awesome! Go back to the map. Um, do some overtime, because why not? My energy's real high. I'm awesome. Uh, let's do it again. Okay, that's it. Oh no, I failed. Oh, boo. Oops. Um. Oops. <laughs> yes. No, stop giving... St stop it. Okay, now, what about if I go to these places? <laughs> maybe there's a time difference? Hey, right, maybe. No. He's not... I mean... I, I guess I can go... To, yeah, morale, creativity, and energy up. How much creativity do you think we'll get? What if we don't get any? Oh, 50 bucks. I'm gonna write a poem instead. No! Stop! No! Then why do you even let me do it more than once? If I can't click it more than once without the response being, hey, awesome. hey, you're not, you don't have any more ideas. <sighs> All right. Kicking it into gear. Awesome! Yay! Yay! Hugh, what up? <gasps> Soup shine. On. Oh god! Just need what? Two ninety nine? Sorry, I have a really bad memory. You guys. <laughs> um. Shoot. Oh, come on. Bring it on! There we go. Okay, that's more of the sort of thing I wanted. And now we'll practice a little writing. Got some creativity. Oh. Okay. Alright, good. Yes, I'm making dollars. I'm making so many dollar bills right now. Oh! <gasps> 
him. I was in Hugh's clothing store. He was busy with some customers, and I was browsing through the different clothing racks. Suddenly, I heard Hugh's voice calling to me. Amy? Yeah, what is it? You look depressed. Oh, 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 oh. You need to have fun. Come to the White Corner Pub tonight. The White Corner? Yeah, it's where all the happy people are. I wanted to laugh at that, but managed to keep my composure. If you say so. So you'll come this evening? Why, uh, yeah, why not? I guess I'll be sure, fine. Great, I'll be there. Going to the pub. I arrived at the trendy pub in town about five minutes early to hopefully ensure that I wouldn't keep Hugh waiting. I always tried to be punctual, if not early, since it was the polite thing to do. <laughs> Forgot about all this. I was rather surprised when I entered the waiting area and saw Hugh standing near the doors looking down at his cell phone. Hey there! I'm in my hot dress, did you notice? He looked up, a bit surprised, as he quickly flipped his phone closed and cast me a cocky grin. You're certainly early. I always try to be on time, cause I'm... Cause people who aren't on time are the worst. I returned his grin with a smile as I walked over to him. The music in the pub was fairly loud and the dance floor was busy, but the ambiance of the pub was energetic and inviting. Did I keep you waiting long? I thought for certain I'd arrive first. Nope, just arrived here a moment ago. Did you have any trouble finding the place? No, I've been here before. <laughs> Obviously. I didn't offer any information as to when, and he simply nodded in response. What does that mean? What does that mean? Good, then you should be ready to start swinging right away. I chuckled at his attempt at a joke. Are you asking me to dance? Darn right I am. Don't you like techno? Yeah. All right, then I accept. I do like techno dance music. I bet you'd like the drinks here even more. He winked as he took my hand and we hurried over to the dance floor. Perhaps so. I don't know how good of a dancer I'll be at this kind of music, though. It's not too hard. Just follow my lead and you'll do fine. At first, it was difficult to keep up with him. I stepped on his feet at least once, but to my surprise, he was in a good enough mood to not comment or complain. He was surprisingly graceful and quick on his feet, which made me feel even more dubious as I struggled not to step on his feet again or bump into anyone else. He seemed very at home in the pub, and though it was at first difficult to keep up with the fast beat of the music, I felt myself starting to come into synchronicity with it, and with him. Is it really so hard? No, this is actually a lot of fun. This music isn't too hard to dance to after all. I play a lot of DDR, so... He grinned, placed his hands around my waist, and lifted me up briefly, still managing to keep in pace with the tune of the song. What did I tell you? Aw, oh, yeah, plus ten! Sick. We were standing very close, and for a moment, I thought he would try to kiss me. You know, I'm sorry, but it's rather late. I'm getting up bright and early tomorrow, so I better get home and head to bed. Oh, I see. A pity. Do you want me to... Oh, this, this, I'll go home, man. Thank you. <laughs> Good night, Amy. Uh, night, night, you. It was a lie. I didn't have to work tomorrow. Yes, you do. It's Tuesday. Why did I do it? I was scared to feel something for him. Whenever I say yes, I have to work tomorrow. I actually don't. And then when I say I don't have to work, I, I do. I'm just a liar. Just a liar. I'm a stalker. I'm just so many things. Bring it on.